Hello, beautiful souls. This is Ginger Quinlan with your inspirational card reading for the week of the 15th. I've already shuffled the cards and I just like to pull them off the deck and start reading. So let's see what the universe has to share with us this week. And please know that this is not specific to everybody. If it was, it would be so much more detailed, but take what you need from this and leave the rest. That is the whole purpose of a card reading to get what you need and leave the rest. Really, that's the purpose of any kind of reading. So let's dive in and see what Spirit has to share with us today. So the very first card is the Knight of Swords. This is being up in your head, really looking and listening and feeling conflict around you, maybe arguing with yourself a little bit, maybe looking at some sort of emotional conflict that has come up for you today, like my cat just jumped up here just like this conflict might come up for you this week, it may just show up. The night is a messenger. It means that something's coming for you. So pay attention to what's going on around you. Look at it, look beyond it. See the light coming out of his eyes. Look beyond what the conflict might be because if you can do that, you'll just get done with it faster and not have it weigh you down, bog you down, make you feel terrible. It may have something to do with work and people at your work and how you're balancing your money. It's also tax day. So for those of us in the United States, we may be having concerns about our taxes. This is also helpful people coming in to make our tax situation so much better. And spirit saying, how can I help you with that? And us saying, how can I balance this? So it's a whole lot of energy of money. This card is completely about money and people coming in to help you with it. That's a good thing. We have the Prince of Dis. I like to look at the cards because I get feelings when I look at them. And I heard, look at it because you need to look at it. This is being up in your head really thinking about stuff, really, really thinking. And princes are the messengers of new beginnings. So whatever you've been thinking about, you're about ready to put it into action and get it going and really kind of get out of your head and just make it real. It's time. It is so time. And between the 15th and the 18th is a good time to make it real. All right. So this is a whole lot of passion and energy coming up. We had this card last week also. This is you thinking about how you can passionately give birth to either yourself or something you're doing, a project, a move, a buying of a house, a job change, whatever it is, you're getting ready to do this. And the universe is saying, you've thought about it and you've thought about it some more and you feel passionate about it. Now it's time to make it so. Make it so. I feel like I'm part of Star Trek right now. And that's okay because this is kind of like Star Trek lately where you get into a force field and it knocks you back and you're trying to just figure out how to get out of the force field and you want to beam yourself out of it. It's like, let's go, Scotty. There's problems. And that was this whole last week. Now you're coming into a better energy where we can have some security and have Captain Kirk say, you can do this. It's all right. We can make it so. Okay. And Captain Picard, that's this card. The emperor is in control. This may be a man coming into your life who's going to help you. We had this card last week also. This is a man coming in to help you or a supervisor, a boss, someone who reminds you of your father. It could be you who's just very grounded and in control and looking at what it is you need to do to move forward to take this passion and energy to the forefront, move you forward, get you where you need to be, and do it with a lot of grace and kindness. It's such a Captain Picard card. Um, so yeah, Star Trek analogies all over the place. I am a geek. Now you know the truth. This is healing your broken heart. Another print saying before you can move forward, oh, by the way, you might want to heal your heart and really let go of all those things that have hurt you and say goodbye to them because to get where you want to be is going to take some confidence. It's going to take some really loving you. It is going to take leaving all the wounds from the past behind you so you can come into a brand new way of being who you are now. That's powerful. I got chills. And we have the princess of wands saying, go out there, be a tiger or a tigress. Spirit has you 
this white light is spirit energy blasting into you, really making you aware of your personal power and using it to move yourself forward. Yay, this is cool. This is so much good energy, so much. This really is like beaming up into something new and different. We'll still just go with the Star Trek analogy for this because this is really having, you know, the transporter come in and transporting you into being a tiger or tigress, really being in your power, being really into the world, sharing with the world, listening to spirit and saying, this is what I'm going to share with you. So go for it, go for it, go for it. And this is getting to a higher place in your life, thinking about it and then making it so. Getting to the top of the mountain and at the back of the mountain is spirit saying, I got you, I'm right here, come on, let's go. And you've already done all the groundwork to get there. Put it out there. Absolutely put it out there, make it happen. Be the fool, take that risk. It's time to leap, jump, step off the cliff, be who you are, trust that spirit has you, be that innocent, pure energy of pure ecstatic joy that's going into the world to say, look at what I'm doing. Look at what I'm doing. Look at who I am. Look at how far I've come. And I am pure, happy, joyous energy stepping off into a new way of being in the world. That's where you're headed this week. Holy cow, good stuff for everybody. How amazing is that? So I'm adding a little bit of mediumship to this reading, all right, because that's what I do. I'm a medium. I've been tested by Wimbridge Research Center and Dr. Julie Beischel, who is the founder of Wimbridge Research Center, came up with these amazing cards called Meaningful Messages. And what you do is you shuffle them. They look like this. They're beautiful, really beautiful. Little tiny cards. They're so cute. They're sweet and they're friendly, and they're beautiful. So you don't get a weird feeling. Sometimes, you know, with tarot cards, they gotta work for you and resonate to you. These cards are designed to really make you smile when you see them, because they are for people who are grieving. We've all lost people in our lives. Some of the losses have been absolutely devastating, and it's hard to get past the grief. It's hard to even deal with the grief, and honestly, you never really get past it. You just deal with it day by day by day. The card I pulled says, I recognize that there is more to me than just my loss. I know I am more than just grief. Pretty heavy duty statement. And the reason this is so powerful is because when you lose somebody, the sense of loss is so intense that it just kind of takes over your entire way of thinking. Your heart feels like it was shredded. You don't have anyone who can feel the grief like you're feeling it because we all deal with that overwhelming sense of sadness in different ways. We all have our ways of saying, I'm really hurting. This is so overwhelming. I can't get past it. I can't wrap my head around it. I don't have anyone to talk to about it. So many people, especially in the United States, don't have any idea how to talk about grief. And so when you're in that place of grief, being the one thing you feel the most, you suddenly become your grief. It kind of wraps around you in a shroud and it runs your life. So that heavy depression that happens and the anger that happens before the depression, which is really anger turned inward, that is depression, comes around and encases you in it. And when someone says to you, I am more than my loss, I am so much more than just my grief, it kind of shakes you out of that place that says you are nothing but grief. 
You are nothing but loss. It takes you into, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, I was somebody else before my brother died or before my child passed or even my dog passed. All of these things can hurt your heart. So know today, you are more than your loss. You are more than your grief. You are somebody who is vital and important on this planet, and you can connect to your loved ones on the other side. Yes, you can. Thank you for watching this. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the Inspiration Card Reading of the Week, and I will see you next week for another Inspiration Reading.